So let's see what is report wizard. So report wizard is the out of the box tool available in Dynamics CRM to quickly create report with charts, tables, etc. So using Dynamics CRM report wizard, you can group and summarize the data. You can add visualize visualization such as charts, tables. You can also drill down into that. That means once you have a chart, once you click on that chart, it will drill down to the particular data. That all we can do. And also you can run the report from the list and forms for underlying entities. Also you can share the report with the entire organization. So we let's see how we can access the report. We need to go to sales and report. We have all the list of report report in the CRM system we have. Okay, so when you are creating a report directly from here by clicking plus new button, you are actually uh, opening up report wizard. There you can create the report just like you are creating a query in advance file. You don't need to write any queries as such. Rather than you can uh, make the queries using the advance file like uh, uh, window. So these are all the report that you have out of the box. So you can customize this report using the report wizard or you can create new. So once I open this, this is how it looks like the filtering criteria we have on uh, account and opportunities. Once I click on it, the report will run and it will fetch the data. So this includes account distribution table. This is a, to showing the summary of total revenue end and average deal size and also to showing the charts based on that. So I can click on edit filter and then I can change make changes to the filtering criteria of the report and I can uh, run the report again okay yeah so also one more thing I think if you, if you are navigate to any of the views of uh, records say uh, accounts then we have an option to run report from here for example I am selecting all the active my active account then we have an option called run report so it will give option what all the report you need to run account overview account summary um, pro product by account so this re this report can be run on selected records so account overview it will show use this record I mean all applicable records the selected records all records on all pages in the current view like that you can report you can run report on the selected set of records so for this selected record set of records the report will run that's a powerful feature of uh, CRM reporting you don't need to go go and create a new report rather than what all the existing report available you can run them for the exist selected record there is some issue with the database it seems Okay, we can run it for us. Let's run a sales history report for the selected three records. So this will show the report only for that three selected records. So here you can group it by industry and click on view report that will show the detail based on the industry, entertainment, retail, food processing, non-durable merchandise etc. Like then you can change the group by. So if you go to edit filter you can see the filtering criteria for it. Okay so that's all you can do using report wizard. Now let's see how we can create a report. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So the query that you said there is very similar to advanced file. Okay, so let's see how we can create a report using report wizard. So first of all, uh, you need to navigate to the sales report, the section with the, this we have uh, we have gone through. Then we need to <coughs> type the record type as report wizard type uh, then create a new report using the uh, report wizard dialog you need to set that uh, layout for it also select the report format as a table or table and chart you can uh, add just table 
or you can add tables and charts then you can uh, view the summary of it and run the report so let's see how we can do it so here we have a scenario create a report to display the top 10 accounts in the pipeline based on the size of estimated revenue of open opportunity so this report will create for opportunities and we will look for the opportunity revenue okay so first of all we'll go to our report wizard we'll navigate to sales reports then we'll click on plus new there you need to mention what are the report types so should it be report wizard report if you are creating a uh, we are creating report using report wizard otherwise you need to mention existing file that means if you have already created a report using SSRS initial studio then you will have the RDS file ready you can browse that RDS file and you can deploy it here we will see that next first we will use report wizard report then you click on this button report wizard that will open up the wizard so here you need to select what is the starting point for your report you can start it as a new report that will start everything from scratch or you can use start from an existing report so once you uh, look for more record you will get the existing report in your CRM system so if you want to customize any of that any of that report you can select any of that existing report and click next so that it will create a copy of that uh, existing report and you can customize it rather than creating uh, a new report from scratch and we also have an option such as overwrite existing report in that case the existing account overview record will be over overwritten so I'm going to go for the first one start a new report then click next so here it will ask for the report name top 10 opportunities That's the name I'm giving I can give a description then I need to specify the record types to include in this report I need to select a primary record type that is only mandatory I can select a secondary as well I'm going to select leads qualifying leads qualifying opportunity <coughs> so that will take me to the uh, filtering criteria section so here we have the leads first so by default you just put a condition such as modified on last 30 days then opportunities as uh, modified on last 30 days so I'm not going to change this one so it will filter only records which are modified in the last 30 days I'm going to add a condition start SQL to open then I can click next okay so here I need to men mention the layout so what here in the layout section you can do multiple things first thing is you can add grouping for example if you want to group this record based on the leads or based on a date for that matter for example what is the opportunity create create date so I'm going to select create by so the time interval is by default showing us month so if I, if I have opportunities created in multiple months this opportunity will be grouped by that value you can select any of these values for that matter I can select account and account name so that that way the opportunity will be grouped based on the account account name then I can mention the sorting order for this field ascending or descending the column width I can mention and the summary type yeah. if I want to I mean, summarize the count of the account that I can do then click OK after that I can add multiple grouping by clicking on this I can add more I'm just opening it here by adding only one grouping and by clicking on here I can add columns the reports but all the column headers need to be displayed so I am going to select opportunities and the first field that is topics so I can add the fields from uh, the primary entity the secondary entity also from the entities or records related to opportunities and leads anything I can be selected I will select the record type and column name uh, set the column width click OK so like this I need to add multiple fields uh, the next one I am going to add as yeah. I am going to add account name account 
that is related and category so that will be pulled from the related account then I can next one I'm going to use from lead what is the associated lead name then I can I can even use the sorting part based on which field we need to sort so, so sorry sort this I'm going to sort this by account in ascending order okay so we have done with the layout after that it will allow me to select the format so table or table and chart so what is showing here here the table and chart option disabled so what is the message is showing here if you want to use a chart in this report click back and then uh, either add a summary type to an existing numeric column or add a new numeric column with a summary type if you want to add a chart we need to have some summary field add, add here so click on this field I need to select one numeric field uh, such as estimated revenue that is a numeric value then I am going to select the summary type as any of this aggregate options such as average maximum sum etc I am going to select sum so sum of opportunities will be shown in the chart now it will give you the option to select chart and table here also I have two options show table below chart on the same page show chart view data for chart region click the chart region I am going for the second option click next so it will give you further options you have to select the chart type such as vertical bar or horizontal bar I am going to select the first one then it will custom it will allow me to custom the chart format so this is what the chart preview look like the sum of estimated revenue on the vertical and account name on the horizontal if you want I can change it okay so it is giving me multiple options so I need to click next so it is giving me the report summary report name primary record type secondary record type I'm going to click next okay report has been successfully created then I click finish okay so report has been created and saved after that you can click on run report now to see what what is the report you just has been created okay so here it is showing the top 10 opportunities report basically when you are using the chart right so the table will be displayed as the filter summary and the chart will be displayed the sum of estimated revenue on the left hand side and the uh, sum of estimated revenue sorry and the account name on the horizontal side so we don't we didn't get the table over here so we need to make some changes in the query if you want to have the table displayed because we have given this uh, summary type as sum right so that's why it is showing only the uh, the chart we don't need to display the chart uh, the report as well so we'll customize it and we'll do it again also once we have the report created we have option to export into different options such as XML or CSV or PDF Word etc I'm going to opt as PDF so it will create a PDF file and it will show this So that's how you can export into different format. So the query you can change by clicking on edit filter, but if you want to change the layout of the report, there is no way there is no way you can do it. What you need to do, you need to create another report. And then you need to customize it. We need to use the second option this time. Start from the existing report. Then I need to select this one. Click next. Okay, so I'm not going to change anything over here. 
maybe I can make some change over here such as estimated revenue is greater than or equal to thousand dollars or then we have the fields maybe I will remove this one this time I will select only table next next save it run the report So this time the data is showing in the report. So here you can see the grouping. So the grouping is based on account. So these are the opportunities. It is showing the account name, topic, again the account name, the category of account, etc. The grouping you can see under account adventure works we got multiple opportunities. Under city power and lights we got two opportunities. Coho binary we got one. Yeah. So that's how we create report using report wizard.